boys and girls, welcome back. It is time for our story today. And our story today is actually a religion story from the Bible. Now, I want you to find this handout in your resource folder. This is a, um, a religion handout, and I want you to take a good look at the picture. Now, it kind of looks like our world, doesn't it? Or things that we might find on our planet Earth. Can you guys name any things that you see in this picture? Yeah, there's the sun. You see anything else in the sky? Yeah, the clouds. Oh, there's even some birds over there. Oh, yeah, there's a fox and a giraffe and a zebra. Those are some animals that we might find in Africa. Um, oh, there's a little river. And, oh, a butterfly and some flowers. Oh, yeah, and there are even big mountains in the background. Wow. And you're right, underneath the tree I do see two people. Now, this is a very beautiful picture, don't you think? I want you guys to use your brains. Who do you think made everything in our world? Hmm. I certainly didn't. I'm not that strong. Hmm. Let me give you a hint. God did, yes! God made our world. He created everything in our world, which is really special. I don't know how he did it. He must have worked very, 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 very hard because our world is a very big and beautiful place. Boys and girls, I'm going to read you a poem that talks about the things that God created in our world, okay? It goes like this. So God made the sun and the moon and the stars glimmering bright. God looked at his work and said, It is good. God made the seas and the sky full of fish and birds God looked at his work and said, It is good. God made the soil and rocks, plants and land animals of all kinds. God looked at his work and said, It is good. God made people, you and me, Different, every one. We're all special, right? God looked at his work and said, It is good. Can you say that one time with me? It is good. That's a very special poem. Now, we're going to sing a song in a minute. And um, it's all about the earth or the world and how someone very important holds the earth in his hands. Who do you think we're talking about? God. Yes, God holds the world in his hands and keeps it safe, keeps us safe, protects the animals, protects the plants, protects people that live on earth, our sky, our oceans our land. He's got the whole world in his hands and he keeps us safe. That makes me feel good inside. Get ready for journal. We're going to do that in just a minute. What do you think we're going to draw today? 